All right, y'all want to see some flood footage. Here we go. This is, I'm actually on the island where I fly the drone off from. The bridge on the right is a pedestrian bridge that got hit by the uh, barge the other night in the middle of the night. So that barge come down from the left and actually went underneath the new bridge and never touched it. But it hit that pedestrian bridge on the right right there. So we're flying toward downtown. We'll get into some more of that about the barge stuff later on in another video because the piers are completely underwater, just about underwater right now. But we're heading toward downtown. That's the big water tank right, right between 1st Street and 2nd Street right there. This is the kind of the end of Main Street. The soccer fields are kind of off on the left right there, fixing to go out of screen. But you can see all this. This is where I walked Saturday today is uh, Wednesday. I walked all down through there to walk to where that pier was, where I fl first flew the drone. This is looking back south. This is the old river run right here. There's our new amphitheater coming into the picture right there that has not been used yet. And it's done been underwater about four or five times now, uh, something like that. You know, it's, it's kind of built in the wrong spot right there where it's sitting at right there because it's going, it's going, that's going to be an ongoing thing. I mean, it's, it's cool for the city and stuff like that, but it's kind of, it didn't really need to be down in there that low, but that's kind of the only location they had for it right there. So I'm just kind of flying south here. This bank on the left is very, very high right here on the river. It's basically a cliff right off the edge of 1st Street right there. And there are several people live down the right right there too, on the right sand side. So I'm turning back. That's downtown area right there. There's the big water tank. And then this is kind of the end of downtown, back around to where the pedestrian bridge is. Right there is the pier that got hit right there. There's a big center column pier where it pivots on. There were two people parked on the new bridge over there, and I guess they were waiting on the, that span to fall in right there, which since it got hit by a barge, it's not going to fall. The, it, if it would have been eroded, it would have failed already, but it's not going to fall since the barge hit it. It's kind of wedged up there right now. But you can see the soccer fields off to the right. All that's there. That rooftop is a pavilion rooftop on a river walk. It's dang near slap up underwater right there. Now, keep in mind, this is nowhere near as high as the water has got here before. This is where the barge came from. It hit the pier. It came right down through here. There are several houses, camp houses down. Well, they're not camp houses. People actually live in them. You can see the new river cut way up there if you look up toward the top of the screen. And most of these people have boat docks and stuff down through here too. And it's amazing that the barge didn't hit any of that stuff coming down through here because there's also boat docks on the right-hand side of the river right there. So we're kind of turning toward back toward uh, downtown again. Every bit of this river walk area. Of course, I, I go over to the soccer fields and i'll fly them here in a minute but uh man it's some water here right now like i said it's nowhere near what i have seen we have a mall this up a little bit and they built the mall i forget what year they built it but in 1979 we had a major flood and the water got in that mall and uh then they built the river all right Right here, I'm where the new cut, the cut to the right is the old river run going back toward the pedestrian bridge. That bridge you see up there at the top of the screen, that's the Highway 82 bridge. And then to the left, they, this is a brand new cut. This is what they cut when they built the river and then turned this area that I'm over right now into an island. I'm actually sitting in the old Highway 82 what used to be 82, and then they built that new 82 up there where you see the bridge over there. So what's to the left right here that I'll spin around here in a minute, they had to dig every bit of that right there. All that was completely dug. So the bars got loose from the tug somewhere up here, 
and came down and then hung this way I'm turning right here and hung, went down through here and went straight to the Riverwalk Bridge. So this is the old cut right here. And that water, I'll show it on the ground in a minute. You can see it right here at the bottom of the screen. That water is moving right there, I mean. So you can see the old highway kind of to the left right there. Straight over that blue roof. It, line, it lines up with it in line with it. That's pointing back toward downtown. You can see the big water tower up there now. To the right of the screen, that's the old Highway 82 where they cut it in half. When they cut it in half, everybody on the other side of it, it messed them up. That made them have to go all the way back around to come back to Columbus. And this is the new cut. All this is man-made right through here. All the way down there, as far as you can see, they made that channel right there. So they got barges tied up right there to the right. So now I'm going to fly. I'm going to get right over the old highway right here. And I'm going to take y'all down here to where the scrap yard is, where Brian hauls all of his scrap to, and where I haul, where I haul scrap to. I've actually got a video where I filmed uh, at the scrap yard. That's pointing back south right there, back toward Kior down there. Now I'm back over the, back over the old highway, heading straight back toward downtown. This is a scrapyard coming into play. This used to be a lot of activity going on down here before they cut that road in half. There was a lot of businesses down through here, uh, different things. And boy, when they cut that road, it just kind of killed this area. This right here on the right, that C-shaped or U-shaped thing, that's a hotel right there. There's a scrap yard. You can see it. They've got both sides of the road right there. And like I said, that's where Brian takes all his scrap in there. And they use this area over here to drop trailers at. You can see the old river run right there right behind it. The river never gets high enough to get up on this area right here to flood this. That to the right, that building right there, that's the old Coca-Cola building, I believe. Uh, if, I, if my memory is right on that. So we're going back toward where they cut the road in half. My my truck is sitting right there at the end of it. And you can see the on the other side of the river right there where the road kept going. You can see where it kept going. It kept heading west. We're pointing straight west now. That rooftop over right in the center of the screen you see on the other side of the river, that's a pavilion. There's a boat ramp, a public boat ramp right there. And every bit of that's underwater right now. Kind of spinning back uh, to the left. So y'all just hang tight. So this is what I just flew with the drone. This is where the, the new river cut is right over there. This is the old river run that runs down to where the old river bridge is, a pedestrian bridge. Look at that current out there. That thing is rolling right there, buddy. And we're about to get a bunch more rain here in just a little bit. Let's take a trip over the soccer fields now. <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's a road right there on the left. It's completely underwater. And there's soccer fields on the left. They're underwater. These right here on the kind of the right and center of the screen, you can see, well, these here are completely underwater. So that's pointing back toward where our, where our mall area is. Highway 45 is just over here on our right, right there, coming out of downtown. That's a playground I'm flying over right now. You can see the water pushes back, almost back to 45. 45 is kind of sitting up on a hill right there, so there's really no worries about it getting up on it or anything. Here's another road. There's, I'm flying right over a road right now, and there's another road right here. So there's a car parked right there sideways on the line. 
That's one of the football fields, and then this road here is underwater. This all this is part of the city soccer complex, is what this is. Now I'm pointing almost west, not quite, a little bit more northwest right now. Just kind of flying. This is kind of a little high spot right here, about the only high spot that's right here in this area because you see the water starting to pick back up in the edge of the trees right there. And then you can see this is kind of pointing toward the end of Main Street right there. If you look right straight ahead, you see there's a bunch of cars parked right there. There's a road that goes down in there, and it goes to a real nice restaurant called Ruben's Fish House over there. It, it, every time it rains, it goes underwater. They have to clean it out, and then they open, get it right back open and get it right back going for business, and they've done that forever. Now I'm flying back toward uh, downtown. My truck is right over there. I'm parked in the farmer's market parking lot right there. This is point, this is looking right at the entrance road that goes to Rubens. Matter of fact, there's their sign right there, a little, little small right to the left of where those cars are parked right there. Every bit of this is uh is flooded. So there's the pedestrian bridge over there too. That bridge right there, that over a creek that drains uh the 45 area over there. So I'm flying back toward my truck right now. And I'll pick back up on some more voiceover stuff here in a minute. That's the farmer's market where I'm parked at that they have there during the, during the summer months. And uh, so y'all hang tight. I got more to show y'all there. All right, so now I'm on, uh, well, I don't remember what this road is. It runs around behind Walmart over here toward uh, Lock and Dam Road, Wilkins Wise Road. You can see what's about to hit us now. This is uh, kind of running parallel a little bit with the, with the river there. We're going to go around here and I'm going to try to fly real quick before this rain gets started. This showing up on the radar right now. We're going to go around here. All this over here on my left is flooded. That's the riverside over there. You can see the, uh, all the water. This up right now. Now when the water really gets up, it'll actually cover this road right here. It's not covering it yet, but they do have the gate closed up here where you go down to the lock and dam. It's uh, Wilkins Wise Road. We're gonna ride up here and I'm gonna pull over and we're gonna fly that right quick. All right, so this is Wilkins Wise Road right here. You see all the people stop. See the water's already across all of it right here already. We're gonna go right over here. You can see it's across there too. All right, girl, make up your mind where you gonna go. And we're gonna go right over here. You see it running across the road. That goes down to Lock and Dam right there. They've already closed the gate on it. This is a Wilkins Wise Road that I'm about to fly down. W-I-L-K-I-N-S, uh, W-I-S-E. It's also known as Lock and Dam Road. It goes to our Lock and Dam. You can see the gate right there at the bottom left of the screen. That big body of water right there that you're looking at, that's Columbus Lake, which they call it Columbus Lake, but it's actually the river. The main river is over on the other side of it in the lock and dam is kind of to the left part of the screen right there. So this is the lake part where it's got the water back backed up in the big area right there. Now, all this water that's right directly in front of me is not supposed to be there. All that's flooded right there. You can look at the aerial view on this, very easy to find. Uh, you, it's just right off of Highway 45. I'm uh, probably a mile and a half north of where I've been flying at previously in this video. So right now we're gonna head straight toward the locking dam I don't go all the way to it because I don't know. It's just, it's something about flying over water. I get really nervous. There's a huge power line right here. I fly over right here too. I just, I get nervous flying over the water. I mean, if the if something happens to the drone and it's over ground and it comes, you know, it comes down, it's going to destroy it. And, you know, same thing with water, but it's just something about being over the water right there, you know, just, 
I don't know, it just kind of gets me, keeps me a little bit nervous. So I'm constantly kind of watching it and uh, watching the screen because I can't see the drone. I mean, I'm flying it completely off the screen, watching the, the, the navigation on it, seeing where it's at, how far it is and, and all that. So um, this is the road right here. This is Wilkins Wise Road right here that goes down through here. And there's another road over here on the left called Nash Road. It's a gravel road. Runs down through there, it runs parallel with Wilkins Wise till it gets down here a little ways and then it bears off to the left. The big body of water, like I said, that's part of the uh, Columbus Lake. And right where the water quits on the pavement right there to the right of that, that's the Columbus East Bank uh, boat ramp parking lot right there. It's what that is. And. We're pointing back at the lock right here now, kind of pointing straight west. Going to kind of spin it, because I was about, right here, I was about 3,000 feet from where my location is. Which, that's nothing for that drone, but I just, <laughs> I wasn't going to go any further. And everything looks so different looking down at the ground. So right here, I actually got a little disoriented of which way I was flying right here. And I had to look at my compass on my screen to see which way the drone was going and I realized oh crap I need to turn toward the left to get back in line with me see I'm, I pick back up on where the road is boy it's easy to lose these things man well whoever this is right here their shot right there is just about in the water right there that we're flying over now so I'm flying back uh, east not quite east, but heading back toward town there on 45. Matter of fact, Stribling Equipment, our local John Deere uh, construction dealer, used to be located on this road right here. Right, you could, they're actually, I can see the top of their building right there where they used to be. They've built a new location now and have moved. Now, this body of water over here you can tell the water is a different color in it that's actually a lake right there is what that is and it's supposed to be like that but this water on this road is not all oh, that's flood water and then that water's in those trees it's just a big slough right there is what it is but you can see here uh, Stribling Equipment Company's building was just right right there. It's actually almost right there. So just enjoy the rest of this video here. Here comes the rain. I guess those people parked right there on the side road are probably people who live in a little RV park right there. The bad thing is, is that will flood right there water will get up on that and we'll actually get into those campers right there I would fly the drone but it's starting to rain again this is a uh, Proats Park the Lux Walala River is right straight over there about a quarter of a mile that is uh that road right there that I'm sitting on or sitting beside that is Main Street uh, we're looking east is the way that we're looking. So Proats Park is on the north side of Main Street. Now I have seen this thing completely flood all these ball fields and get up over those fences out there. And I've seen it go that deep before in the past. So it's gonna be interesting what goes on with this rain that we're about to get right here. So this old train here is at the approach part. They moved this thing here a long, long time ago. It's been here since before I can ever remember. They they brought it right down the middle of Main Street with some uh, sections of rail. That's how they got it down here to the park. They've been trying to restore it for a long time. 
but they just never have quite got it completely done. So there's the flow waters. Uh, I did a lot of filming today. Did all that drone stuff, and then I filmed a uh, a lot with Brandon in today too. Uh, there's no telling how much I filmed with him. With the uh, did I burned three batteries to the through the drone today, and uh, see so I'll get to see some more of that. I don't know if we'll ever be able to work again. Dad said he wants us to go up there in the morning and just kind of look at things. But, uh, I mean, it's still pouring down out there right now. Like what you seen, I just showed right there at the very end. It's still pouring down. That's the thing, if, you, if you've if you got an outside job, a lot of people talk, talk to me and want to be loggers and stuff like that. If you're a type person who don't or can't put money back and and save for quote a rainy day you need to keep doing what you're doing because you ain't gonna make it like right now it's uh i mean it doesn't matter if you're in the logging or dirt business anything outside right now it's struggling around here pretty bad it'll eventually dry up and we'll be begging for rain uh it's probably this summer we'll probably have a drought this summer but it's just I mean, it's just coming down. I mean, so we'll um, we'll roll with the punches. We'll probably ride up there in the morning and and look at it. We'll probably basically turn right back around and and come right back. That's fine. I hadn't been I hadn't been in the woods. Well, today is a week ago today since I've been in the woods, and so we'll go uh, we'll go check it out. But just. Uh, we got a lot of water, but it's not it's not near as high as what I have seen it before. I mean, it will get a lot higher than that, and it may, it may do it now because with our water level here it depends on what it does up north of us. So uh, if they're getting hammered up there, which it looks like it on the radar, uh, that's probably the ticket. Uh, so uh, today when I was with Brian, he jumped off to high reach and uh, talked to him for a little bit. And he said, uh, he swapped the controls on it for me. And he said, good luck. And so I ran that thing for a while, filmed quite a bit of footage uh, in it. And it's, it's different. It has a different, much different feel to it with that long of a boom on it. And then to get to trust the machine too. So that's uh, that's some good stuff there. And he's got a bunch more machines over there running now too. So uh I'm gonna let y'all go for now. Just look at all the clickable stuff down below if you need to know anything like that. So we'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.